just add a little vasopressin to make it more attractive. Vasopressin attractive, yeah, add, add some. Oh, hi, welcome to my lab, Dr. Funk here. We're in the uh, neurobrain chemistry lab down in my basement. Tell you what we're trying to do. You know, the world's so filled with depression, anger, stress, fear. It's taken its toll on a lot of people. And yet, I know I can make an elixir that can bring everybody back, because I know the brain chemistry that can bring health and happiness. You know what's going in there? It's got that vasopressin make you really attractive to your partner. And, and more importantly, the way I see it, dopamine. Dopamine, pleasure, pleasure, dopamine. We added the dopamine right in here as well. Oh, don't forget the oxytocin, because if you don't have the oxytocin, you don't even know who you're bonding with. Whoa. This is shaping up really pretty good. You know, a couple of more wonderful items in here, and we got an elixir and a tonic to make you feel top of the day. It's the love tonic. Oh, the big one, the big one. Growth hormone. You really want to grow strong and healthy. So let's add some growth hormone to our love cocktail. Ooh, oh, it's coming along really good. Now, in the old days, we used to test on rats and mice and monkeys. But those animal rights people come down on us real hard. So we had to come up with a new process to test our medications. And I want to show it to you right here. It's the latest technology. Come on over here and check this out right here. There you go. Hey, here we go. What you think of my little friend right here? Okay, I'm going to give you some brain chemistry and you tell me what you think about it, okay? So here we go. Careful. I'm going to have a pour. Don't slip up now. Here we go. Whoa, what you think of that one? I like, I like more, I like. Now, if you want to have this great feeling, all it takes is an arm and a leg, and you can just send the arm and a leg to the following address on the screen, and we'll forward to you Elixir. Elixir, oh love, we call it. And again, all it takes is an arm and a leg. You send that, and we'll send you a love potion. Thanks for visiting my lab. Igor, come clean up this mess. We gotta start another commercial soon. Thank you. Ah, oh, Dr. Funk, always making a mess of my laboratory. Oh, 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 listen. Don't listen to Dr. Funk when he says to send an arm and a leg. We have tons of arms and legs. We're not even using them. What you do is you have positive thoughts and positive loving feelings. Then your brain will release the neurochemistry all on its own. You don't need this elixir. It's a hoax. It's a placebo. Just release the chemistry with positive love and feelings. Ugh. Oh, that's messy. Anger! Oh. Anger! Yes, master. Ah. Hi, dear friends, cultural creatives, and imaginal cells everywhere. Bruce Lipton here. I hope you enjoyed our public service announcement with the grand poobah of the pharmaceutical industry, Dr. Funk, and his research lab. The point of our message is very simple, and that is this. Any drug that we take, whether it comes from the pharmaceutical industry or from the street, only affects us if we already have receptors on our cells to respond to those drugs. If we have receptors on the cells, then it also means simply this that we then are able to create all those same chemicals to activate the same receptors. So we don't need to depend on outside chemistry to help us with our emotions and our behaviors. What we have to recognize is where is the source of the chemistry that does control the emotions and behaviors of our cells. And the answer is simply the brain. And as we've been pointing out in the biology of belief, the point is very simple that the chemistry released by the brain is a complement to the images in our mind. Loving, happy images release the chemistry Dr. Funk described. Vasopressin, dopamine, oxytocin, growth hormone. And yet, if we change the image in our mind, such as one that concerns fear or scared of something, then the chemistry that comes out of that brain is not the loving chemistry, but a completely different chemistry, which evokes a different emotion and different behavior. Then all of a sudden I say, well, then what's creating our lives? I go, the picture in our mind. And when you understand that, then you understand the power of the biology of belief. Because with an understanding of the biology of belief, you can create images of love, health, happiness, heaven on earth, the same way we do when we fall in love. And falling in love is just an example of, oh my goodness, what happens when I experience the vision 
that I look for? And the answer is you secrete the chemistry that gives you that joy. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation, but hopefully you recognize the power that you have without the need of pharmaceutical drugs to create a better, happy, healthier, emotionally sound life. It's all in your mind. Yeah.